What is this gonna be, the eighth time Aaron gets eaten? What kind of gag is that? It looks really painful. What's up, Aaron? <laughs> Why do I have a hard time believing that? I'm just gonna eat you. Uh, <laughs> you're not really selling it right now. Okay. I'm listening. Yeah, this is great. Let's hear it. He has nice eyes too. I see where Historia got it. Actually, they're doing great. <laughs> they just took over the whole, whole country. You don't need to worry about them. It's wall all the way down. Have you? Damn, Aaron's kind of ripped. What are we doing? <laughs> I feel like this is about to get huge. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, there's just so much, so many details, so much happening. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right, so in the last episode, there was that flash of Aaron seeing himself as a woman, and we saw her there again. So I guess that was Aaron before, or maybe Aaron ate her? Because that's the question Armin asked, right? Like, who did Aaron eat to get his powers? Man, that was a lot. There was just so much in there that I, I still can't fully get or get at all, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> Let me watch that again, actually. I have a feeling like everything's about to change. Okay, so here's my theory, not to get too bogged down in things I don't understand yet. I feel like they put a lot of details in front of us in the previous episode to get us ready for this. We were introduced to a girl who I guess is Historia's older sister, and it seems like she was being prepared as the catalyst, and then at some point, for some reason, she changed her mind about what they were doing and attacked them. And somewhere in that frenzy, Eren's dad turned Eren into a titan using this injection, which we've seen before, and Eren ended up eating that girl, but also ended up killing his own father, which is very strange because his father was definitely there at the beginning of the series, or was he? I remember a lot of things that don't make any sense. <laughs> Father's sin. Oh man, this is getting intense. So I actually wasn't planning on making a video right now, but I was doing something else and I found myself wanting to listen to Red Swan. And after I listened to it the 10th time, I decided I may as well just watch the next episode. The more I watch it season three, the more I the more I appreciate it. I feel like it fits really well. It was really well conceived, well thought out. Sin. Do you remember your father's sin? I remember it, but I don't understand it. That's girl Aaron. ヒストリアももうちょっと女の子らしくしないと。この子みたいな女の子のことかな。クリスト。そう。ヒストリアもクリスタが好きでしょ。そう、ヒストリアもクリスタが好きでしょ。そう、ヒストリアもクリスタが
れてたんだろう。私に本を読み書きを教えてくれた。Oh, did she make her forget? Is that what she did by touching her forehead? She did say you're gonna have to forget about me. Frida. Right, and I'm guessing she was the coordinate. That's because she is inside of him. Damn, look at those abs! <laughs> that is probably the church incident, too, right? Like, it wasn't bandits. It was that thing, her going crazy. Uh? Interesting. Oh, so she wasn't rebelling. She was protecting them. Although I'm not sure, because people could be lying. Yeah, that's the question. It could be just for power, right? That's a real possibility. That's a thing people want. But my guess is that there's a bigger goal because he's trying to get Aaron to carry out or carry on what he was doing. Another idea that comes to mind is now some of their memories are, are called into question because of this whole neural thing. If they can erase people's memories, can they also alter people's memories? This whole thing is nuts. <laughs> oi, 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 is that Kenny? Oi, oi. I was wondering where he was. Where does he fall now? Started. Yeah, they finished it too. Okay. Yeah, I think I misunderstood last episode. For some reason, I got the impression that race was his own separate thing. And he may be that in spirit, but he was working with the, the government. They were counting on him and whatever he's doing. So it makes sense that Kenny would work for race, but it seems probable that he has his own thing going on too. That was a very telling sound effect. Special Scream. Wait, the Scream is related to human memories? The royal family's Titan has a similar ability and is believed to possess the power to alter human memories as well. Huh. No. I think there was a South Park episode about this. <laughs> Oh, God. Dude. This is what this world does to people. It just comes out in weird ways. I didn't know this guy is into that. <laughs> yeah, just your daily reminder that being on the winning side does not make you the good guy. This is a huge detail, honestly. その一部の結束はそれに影響されないと言った唇だったぞ。そんなことか。レースがエレンの持つ叫びの力さえ手にすれば民衆の反乱なんぞことをなしというわけじゃ。皆恥もせずベラベラと喋り寄ったわい。They think they've won. High stakes. どの道ざっくれの手にかかり我らの業務。そんなことか。レースがエレンの持つ叫びの力さえ手にすれば民衆の反乱なんぞことをなしというわけじゃ。皆恥もせずベラベラと喋り寄ったわい。He wasn't lying in that carriage conversation. He's being honest, I respect that. It was he who talked about a common cause uniting humanity at one point. Right back in action. I expect nothing less. Yeah, and he's expecting them. High praise. Wow, very high praise. Yatsunofurunemushitabakida.Kenyakamantenamayashina.Sezenoshinohanashtawa.Tichinose.Akamankewa.Toshibude.Hakugaiwokate.Tatokimashta.Aretoki.Tosuze.Chikarani.Mez
he's killed a whole lot of scouts. But the fact that we're getting this kind of glimpse at his past, and also the fact that his family is persecuted, I don't know what to think, but the show is telling me that there's more to Kenny, and so I'm, I'm intrigued by where, where this is going. Also, this reveal makes Mikasa and Levi even more important, I think. Like, so far they've been awesome and badass, but that seemed to be from their abilities. But now it seems like they're, they're essential parts of the story. There's like lineages, like a whole bunch of lineages happening. One of them is Historia, which makes her significant in that way, in the larger story. But now Levi and Mikasa, they have that same distinction. And Kenny for that matter. <laughs> Well, for anything like Mikasa and Levi, I get it. Maybe they're also immune to the memory effects? Maybe the other is whoever sent Reiner, Bertholdt, and Annie on their mission? It's hard to blame him for thinking that way in the Attack on Titan world. In one of the greatest action sequences of all time. Interesting that she's giving an inspiring speech. Yeah, they have a much bigger vision. It's not just them doing work. And they're walking right into it, too. Right into the trap. Oh, please don't cliffhanger me. <laughs> They're gonna do that, aren't they? When did he get so ripped? Yeah, but what you're not counting on is the combined, damn it, brain power of Hanji... Levi and Armin. Woo! <laughs> uh, so that was a lot to take in. In fact, I feel like I haven't fully taken it in yet. There's a lot to think about. I feel like if I could remember all the pieces from the show so far, it would click. But that's how the brain is, right? If something is not immediately relevant to you, it just sort of flows through your filters, doesn't get doesn't get picked up on. Very generally, my sense is that this makes a lot possible because a lot of things we've seen may not have been the truth. What's the truth, right? Or maybe things we would have seen or would have expected to see, we didn't see because the memories of the characters are unreliable because of this power. It also somewhat clears up how there can be these two separate worlds. People can create whatever world they want if they can affect memories. The modern world that we know can exist and people might not remember. Also, no idea how true this is, but I feel like this gives it the potential to actually have something like a scientific basis or a sci sci-fi basis, let's say. My initial theory was something like gods, and maybe that's true in a sense, but this seems to be physical, like a physical power they have, physical or chemical or something, where they're affecting people's neurons. It's still magic, right? I don't, I don't really know, but I guess what I'm saying is it seems a little bit more grounded and less mythical. Although those two things are not mutually exclusive. It could be both or some combination of the two. And then you have that huge reveal that I guess the way it worked was that Aaron's father a Historia's sister, who either was the coordinate or had special powers like that. And then I guess Aaron ate his father, but it seemed deliberate. So what was his father after? Power is possible, but seems like too limited of an explanation. Why did Aaron and his father visit Mikasa in that flashback again? Was it really just a friendly visit? What's the truth? <laughs> I don't know. But this episode just expands the realm of possibilities so much. Like there's all these different bloodlines and they all have different abilities and different histories and they, they, they rely on each other and they have interplay with each other. I mean, we've always known there are sides, but I feel like this episode makes it a lot clearer. Character wise, I feel really bad for Aaron. He's already got a lot to deal with, understatement of the season, but hearing his father came in and just massacred Historia's family is just yet another thing he has to process. And the realization that he then ate his father and trying to make sense of that. Like he ate his father, but his father was, was there. We saw him leave. What happened? When did his father leave exactly? Because it's possible that that's true. All that is true. And then at some point, Aaron had his memory of certain elements erased. Once again, the show providing answers and also providing more questions. But this time, I feel like there's a lot of answer. The amount is satisfying. The proportion is satisfying. And my feeling is that this is just the beginning of it. I feel like from here on out, we're gonna we're gonna be getting more and more. The whole season has felt like a tonal shift, but this episode feels like a tonal shift again, from what we've seen so far. Nothing will be the same from here on out, I don't think. I think this marks a turning point for information and for learning about the world and the lore and stuff like that, which is very exciting. Like, I'm ready to, to figure it out. Before the video ends, I gotta give a huge thank you to all my patrons for all the constant support 
and love and all the good stuff. <laughs> a special shout out goes to those who joined the top tier this week. Siswanka, Mohamed Ziad, Junius Murray IV, and Jacob Kaiser. Thank you to all patrons. Thank you to all of you for watching. Love you guys. See you very soon when we pick up where we left off and hopefully get a lot more information in Attack on Titan or for My Hero Academia. And thank you for all the support on that new series, by the way, as well. <laughs>